welcome to another episode <laughs> of The Bottom Line. Uh, this episode is brought to you by Black Box Workstations. So Black Box Workstations are custom-made workstations uh, built to suit your exact requirement, whatever type of work you're doing. So um, we have a full range of Black Box systems starting at about 160000 for ev- all kinds of work. So we'll, ha- we'll have it customized, specified for your exact workload and your exact budget. So if you have a requirement, come speak to us and we'll sort you out. Okay, Krishan, why don't you start? <laughs> all right, so um, we did talk about Intel process recently, but uh, a different kind of news, somewhat bad news, Intel process, there is apparently a global shortage of Intel process. Yes. And um, availability is suffering as a result. Yes. And um, more worryingly, prices have shot up significantly. Significantly. So let's quickly run you through why, because a lot of you have questions and you're wondering why this is happening. If you had, if you had <laughs> been following prices, you would have noticed like a, say, if I process going from like 30,000, 35,000, 37,000, like 39,000, that was like 42,000. 42,000. <laughs> so what's happening here is, let's just go back to the main problem, right? You, We spoke about uh, Intel's production uh, issues on their production notes, right? So they, you guys know, they've been on 14 nanometer. They've been trying to go to 10 nanometer for a few years now. Hasn't been possible. Lots of small, small issues based on that. So Intel have been pretty much making all of their processes on 14 nanometer at the moment, including their chipsets, right? So apparently, um, since now, they haven't been able to get past this 14 nanometer block on, for the last few years and go to a better processing node. They've pretty much saturated their production uh, capability right now. And they're just not able to produce as many processes as uh, their manufacturers or their partners want to like you know put out products for. So from the numbers we were told, uh, looks like Q3, Q4 towards the end of the year, you are going to see a sh- shortage of as much as seven percent industry wide. And we say industry wide, we are talking like everything from I think servers to consumer space to laptops, which is huge. Yes. Now this is how that affects us. Now seven percent is industry wide. That means that seven percent less processes in the whole world. Yes. So that means we are. Now, when you look at allocation, now Intel is going to give, try to keep the numbers, their current numbers going, right? So that means you've got 7% less processes, but you have the same amount of demand, or if not more demand for so Intel how, processes. How this is going to work is you won't see like every market drop by Yes, so, so I feel like the biggest markets like US and Europe and stuff like that, Th- those you see small hits. You, you are probably Maybe not, not even. Probably because, not see any. Because, because they'll get processes first. They'll still get processes and uh, smaller markets like ours will get reallocated. So we'll get no processes. In- eventually. Like right now we have. Right now we have. Uh, but our supply chain right now has already uh, said that well, the allocation is very strong. Because for example, say Intel has a bunch of say regions that they now want processes. Uh, they are going to give the majority of their stuff to the big regions and what is left over is going to come to the smaller regions like the subcontinent like yes. India, and then Sri Lanka. We are an even smaller part of that so it gets filtered out. Yeah. And so it's it's a bit of a bummer. So like that very, would, very low on the food chain unfortunately. Unfortunately <laughs> it is what it is right like and unfortunately um, that means we may even see a scenario I, I heard from industry sources that in a month like in a month or two like close towards November we might even see cases of us not actually having certain Intel processes because it's going to be a real crunch but he did tell me that moving into 2019 production should pick up yeah so this is production should pick up so you are looking at probably five to six months before it at yes. least starts to normalize so that's a long period yeah so to explain the actual price hikes like going from 32 to 40 okay first of all we have the deflation of the rupee dollar has gone up. yeah but couple that with the fact that now that there is an actual shortage worldwide immediately our region is getting less processes and the moment you get less processes distributed dealer prices go up so wherever we are purchasing from their prices have gone up by anything between 10 to 20 to 25 percent so right now you'll notice any shop in sri lanka you go there they're holding current stock i mean if no one holds stocks of processes for more than exactly. a couple of weeks like even even we've limited our processor sales unfortunately with because systems. we just can't get our hands on processes yes. and the prices are ridiculous right now we're looking at almost like what 25 30 percent increase in prices About 30%, a actually. couple of in just two weeks in just two weeks and unfortunately you're gonna see this get worse or maybe stay yeah, where it is like for another i5 three to could four be fifty thousand a week hopefully we don't get that <laughs> but 40 plus for an i5 is pretty crazy yeah. good news for amd really bad news for intel in our region but for those of you who are going on to amazon and new again going okay why is it still selling at that price there and not that price here now you know yeah exactly so um on the brighter side of things i guess amd has a couple of new processes coming out they do the 2300x and the 2500x. 2500x so these would 
actually like take over the price points where the i3 and the i5 used to be yeah and let's be honest like if you could buy a foco 8 thread amd at like what 10000 less than yeah. a equivalent and, like and right now right now we are looking at what a 6 core 12 thread amd already like at what ryzen 5 2600 yeah going for like the same price as a i5, i5. Right. So, so it's already a better processor a uh, really tough time to be intel right now i mean then it's not like they're not selling it's the fact that they can't meet demand yeah. so it's yeah. amd great opportunity like yeah. you know how like everything's just orchestrated yeah. perfectly <laughs> for amd <laughs> like they just came in intel had 10 nanometer problems then they were having like new processor delays yeah. and now they can't, they like, can't make enough processors. processors. Now AMD conveniently put out a couple of new mobile chips as well, the exactly. 20, 2800H. And, and the other side of this is like laptops are not going to be here. Like you will stop seeing laptops you might, available. Yeah, that is true. Apparently yeah. laptops are going to be hit the worst. So you might actually see a time where you might actually see practically no, no mid to no high end. To high end laptops. Well, we don't know. Like there could be a few, but there's definitely going to be a shortage. So if you um, want to... I, I feel like at least one segment of this market is like going, not going to be able to see a crash. Yeah. yeah. So kind of you might, might get like the super cheap laptops like the i3s, i5s, basic laptops and you might see the high end ones because like gaming laptops people do pay a premium. So mid range, I'm thinking 100 to 150k, you might not see laptops at all. Yeah, that's, so that's, that, that's, that's, that's scary. And there's really nothing we can do about it. So all you can do as a consumer is kind of take a seat back and if you're holding off for the prices to come back down on processes, don't hold your breath. You're looking at a minimum for sometimes even six months. Six months. So it is what it is. Uh, what now? Another interesting thing is like the, apparently production is so bad now. Intel on their chipsets, the H310, B360, H370, Z370, they apparently manufacture this on their same process. No, generally, although it's not like strict, like it doesn't have an effect on the way they put out their processes. But the last eight gen was all put out on the 14 nanometer, and apparently due to production problems, and there was an H310 motherboard shortage problem worldwide, which Sri Lanka didn't really feel it because we have a small market. Yeah. But worldwide there was a shortage. Apparently Intel has pushed back their production node on the H310 to the 22 nanometer process, which will be a little bit more expensive for them, but they at least can get more I motherboards. Think, I think it's related to this, like uh, Intel, they do carry on manufacturing some of the older chipset models okay so i think they've like immediately cut support for like multiple chipset models like i think they had a couple of uh, they had a couple of uh, second third gen i think b75 chipsets were still in production okay. which 81 and uh, b85 was still in production in small quantities because you do get requirements i think all of those are like cut so there's only so much i mean i, I this would have all been solved if intel had managed to kind of go to that next node and get like yeah. some new processors going now that brings us to the new processors now we know that practically next month they are probably going to launch or at least announce announce probably the new launch. yeah the new 9th gen processors right it, along it like i feel the way things are going it might like be like a ghost launch right? yeah like here yeah, are the processors because yes because this is the issue right like they're, they're manufacturing that processor <laughs> on 14 nanometer even the 8 core it's coming out on 14 and they are ha having 14 nanometer issues so it's all but guaranteed that there aren't going to be many 9th gen processors on launch and even even if they were we're not going to get them and if we did it's going to be it really super expensive. expensive so kind of a bad time so like, if, if, if anyone's waiting for like a i9 9900k you're looking at a 100k processor right now yeah, seems like. Although, like this is this is what we, we were told, right? Like we had now rumors say that actually it's confirmed that the i7 9700K is going to be an eight core, eight thread. It's confirmed. Kushan was right. Who knew? Yay! Yeah. <laughs> so the, the i9 was going to be an eight core, sixteen thread, but they weren't going to be cheap. So it was going to be the eight core, eight thread at three hundred and eighty dollars, right, which is the cheap. price of an 8700K right now. Yeah. And four hundred and eighty dollars was going to net you an eight core, sixteen thread. Interesting pricing, $600 is what gives you a processor that is similar to that right now in Intel stack. So it's so, still cheaper, but also significantly more expensive than a Ryzen. And there is also a rumor that AMD uh, might yeah, put out a 10-core, ten ten right. or a faster 8-core. Yes. You will see. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get to The 10-core is like an odd thing, because we know how they make the processors. Make would, but they would do that. Like AMD would just be like, <laughs> a cheap 12-core. I mean, they could. But it would kind of we'll cannibalize see. We'll see. Once we have like more information, I feel like AMD just to stick it to Intel exactly. would be like, it's okay, we'll make a loss on this. <laughs> just like cut a processor, like a little chip in half, and be like 10 cores, take this Intel. <laughs> yeah, you know, and, but I don't know how Intel is going to produce enough processors to meet demand. It's, we can't catch a break. Like enthusiasts have not been able to catch a break for the oh, last two I, to three years. Mean, first it was like no mining, graphics cards, and no mining, graphics cards, and like no every RAM. prices went up. 
graphics card memory prices went up then oh like graphics card memory was not available and now it's intel of all people <laughs> and no no graphics cards in the pipeline for amd uh, and like not a great time uh, so if you purchased any of the hardware that you wanted to in the last one year you're pretty lucky i feel yeah i guess if you got that and piece. like i'd say like the like the closing thought on this would be don't hold off on purchases if yeah. you can buy something now don't wait for something don't better. wait for something cuz it's not coming <laughs> anytime soon yes so it is what it is man like i i like i we're really bummed about it cuz we love new tech we yeah. love bringing this stuff and, to you and like yes people start complaining but end of the day we'll have to bump up prices to like match our costs first of all and with the increase of the dollar price so the prices will will go up Yeah so we'll keep you tuned on more and more stuff we'll hopefully have more videos coming out soon with you yeah. with updates on this but it is where it is right now and uh, I mean we just have to wait and see like we said let's maybe at least be happy about the few things so when they do announce the agen processors let's look, look at the benchmarks and, and like, yeah faster processor yeah faster processor which we don't won't see for the, a few months don't look at the price <laughs> don't look at <laughs> so yeah for 80 it that they want to launch it at 480 it could launch like you said at about 550 600 depending on demand you never know and that's going to be like 100 100 yeah right. yeah so, so yeah more on that later but this is it for processes for now we will catch you on the next episode thank you